Jenna, our VP of Marketing at Adlam. Welcome to our Cloud Security Lightboard series. Today's topic is on deployment mode options for cloud access security brokers. So let's explore the various ways that a CASB can integrate with a cloud application. The first option is via API. API allows a CASB to essentially tap into the API framework for various cloud apps. Salesforce. Google, Box. The API, the API option is great because it's completely non-intrusive. As you can see, it is not in the path of traffic. There are no agents to deploy. It's completely seamless. So that's great. But unfortunately, with the API deployment options, you are limited to the APIs that are provided by the cloud application provider, and not all cloud ap application vendors deliver a very robust API framework. So it may not work for it may not work for all cloud apps. In addition, API actually gives you visibility and governance around data at rest, but not necessarily real-time prevention. So if you had an attack that was happening in real time and you needed to block it, API may not have that option. Another option to integrate into cloud applications is via forward proxy. The forward proxy approach essentially redirects all of the traffic, all possible ways that a, that a traffic a user is getting to a cloud application and redirects that through a CASB. And the way that you do that is you might do proxy chaining if you had a WebSense, a Bluecoat, some sort of secure web gateway on premise. You might use that via pack files, agents, if you had a mobile agent. So this option, the for proxy option, is great for managed devices. But the downside is that all traffic from your managed devices is going to go through the CASB, and that's not ideal from a privacy perspective. In addition, the downside of the for proxy is it doesn't quite work for unmanaged devices. The third option is reverse proxy. And with the reverse proxy approach, you are redirecting traffic to the cloud application through the SAML authentication mechanism. So the CASB sits here and essentially integrates with any sort of IAM that you have. And a reverse proxy is great because you are redirecting all traffic, so this is going to work for managed or unmanaged devices. But the downside is you are rewriting URLs, and so instead of going directly to salesforce.com, you may go through proxy.salesforce.com, and that may not work for native mobile clients or native mobile apps, mo native mobile cloud apps. So as you can see, there are, there are limitations and advantages of all of these different deployment modes. What do we advocate? If you are picking a cloud access security broker, then you should pick a platform that will give you all three options. And that's what we've done with uh, the Adlam approach. Uh, we actually support the API mode. And then we also have a smart proxy, which is a combination of forward and reverse proxy. What we do advocate in terms of the approach is as phase zero, start off with API because it can be deployed in less than eight minutes. It's completely non-intrusive. You're not in the path of traffic. It gives you the, the visibility into what's happening into your cloud application, as well as governance around data sharing and all of the data at rest within your cloud applications. Then in phase two, sorry, phase one, start to introduce the high security use cases and we recommend starting off with the ability to proxy access control. So ensuring it's the right users on the right devices. 
you can block uh, bad IPs. And you can also play around with whether it's managed or unmanaged devices that should have access to your cloud apps. And then phase three, if you will, or phase two, is when you introduce even more granular uh, use cases. So it would be a full proxy, and you would have really much more granular policies around access control. Um, maybe you allow a user to, on an unmanaged device, to access a cloud application, but you ensure that that document is encrypted with IRM. So that concludes our topic today on deployment modes for cloud access security brokers. Hope that uh, you now have a good understanding of the different deployment options as well as the Adlam approach. Thanks. <laughs>